Hello everyone, Game Dog here, and welcome back to Let's Play Stick Ranger. Now, last episode, uh, we had, we had a very lengthy battle with the Ice Castle, a boss that actually isn't really that difficult. Things in Sierra Island, it was just it was like you know your first time fighting it. He, he's always a bit difficult the first time you fight him. Uh, now, okay, something else I want to bring up. For the first time ever, we actually have a moment of uh, like honestly, we have like a bunch of snowfield areas right here. Then we have like a snowfield nine right now. Um, after the mega boss, which does not happen at any other point. Like, like this right here isn't like a desert nine or anything. Like, no, we have a snowfield nine right here. I can't wait to see what this is. Uh, so let's see here. So let's go right in. Uh, let's see. This level appears to, uh, oh, I should probably turn these guys on actually. Let's turn damage effects back on too. I had that off just, uh, so I'd be able to see my other rangers, uh, more easily. Okay. So we have, um, we're in, <coughs> <coughs> yeah, pardon. Uh, we are introducing these, uh, let's see, these, uh, these little, like, walkers that shoot a bunch of bullets at you. And they appear to not really be that dangerous overall, but they do, um, actually, I'm curious about something. Uh, what if I drag all my guys over here? Can they even hit him? Um, it appears not because, wait a second, look at this. Look at this. I just noticed this. Um, it appears that, um, it appears that they can, uh, they cannot shoot through walls, but also they can only shoot on an X-axis. I don't think I've ever seen another enemy have that kind of issue before. Like, honestly, okay, i got to find a place to actually let you shoot through and, uh, let's see, put you up here. Can they shoot straight up? No, they can shoot to the left, though. Okay, that's interesting. Actually, I just thought of something. What if I uh, were to, um, let's see, what if I were to do this, uh, equip you with that, and then, uh, let's see, turn you two on. Uh, let's see, I'm going to turn these two off, actually. And then from there, I'll, uh, let's see, I'll, uh, wait, why did I put the ice meter on you? I wanted to put the, oh, because I put the other weapon on. No, we want the volcano for these guys because they're grounded. Oh, that, that, that could have ended badly. Yeah, we'll put them here. And because, um, let's see, because the general group is closer, or the ranger is, is closer to this general group, they'll shoot towards him, leaving my ranged fighters unharmed. Okay, so, see, this is the kind of innovation you need to do well in levels like this. Okay, so... I don't think I've ever seen an enemy, though, like this, that um, actually, uh, like, physically cannot shoot in a direction other than straight left and straight right. Uh, so let's see here. Let's uh, let's move on again. And then uh, let's see. I'm kind of expecting to see a bunch of enemies that are like this. Okay, we have these guys now. Now, can these guys only shoot up or down? Um, let's see here. It doesn't appear so. What do they do, actually? Maybe if I get close to them, they'll do something. They don't appear to be doing anything. Did I power up the other units? Okay, I'm actually genuinely curious right now. What are these enemies doing? They can't really do anything to me, all things considered. Or they really aren't doing anything to me, or at least that I notice. Maybe if I get near their base? Um, no? Okay, they just... I As far as I'm concerned, those enemies do nothing. Oh, what's this? Lava 6. Ooh, is that a... Wait, I gotta test this out. Is this, um... Oh my goodness, that looks interesting. Ooh, okay. That's an upgrade to the Super Volcano. In that case... Oh, wow, that's pretty powerful. I'm going to have to level this up at some point, because that looks really strong, actually. Oh, wow, that, that's pretty interesting, too, how the, how the, um, yeah, how the, uh, how the lava, like, moves to the side as well. I'm not actually sure if that's better. You know what? I'll hold on to both weapons for now. Um, yeah, honestly, because, honestly, it doesn't go straight up, so it doesn't hit enemies like this, but honestly, I got, um, this guy for that, too. Oh, man, I, I don't really know what those enemies do. That's interesting. Well, wow, that's really neat. It's really neat, though, that we actually found a, a flat upgrade to, um, Oh wow, yeah, look at it tear these guys apart. That we actually found a flat upgrade to the to the super volcano. You know what? Because this is actually technically better for these areas, I feel, I'm going to uh equip that one for now. And then I'll try to uh oh, okay. Okay, so maybe these guys can only shoot straight down. Oh, oh wait a second, we should equip uh this for those guys. You know what? I'm gonna turn um my melee fighters on and have them pursue these uh these enemies right here and see if they actually do anything. Because as far as I'm concerned, I can't I can't decipher how they actually attack you, or if they attack you at all. Maybe they're meant to be, like, dummies for the other enemies, or maybe they do something when they die or something. I'm just spitballing at this point, because I, I really, I'm really genuinely confused as to, like, what these enemies actually do. They don't appear to resist anything. Oh, what's this? A quad steel arrow. Oh, that's interesting. That's a lot of damage for the sniper, actually. Of course, again, we're kind of getting to that point in general, which everything is a lot of damage. All right, uh, let's see. We've taken out a couple of these fools. Let's move on here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, it appears to be the exact same enemies. And now uh, let's see what this boss does. This boss um, fires bouncing orbs at you. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see. Um, uh, you want? Know yeah, okay, that might be a better idea. What do the orbs actually do? They do uh, utmost of 40 damage. That's pretty crazy, actually. Uh, our rangers seem to be doing probably a number on him, though. And the orbs, while numerous, don't really tend to be that crazy, though. I mean, I, I've seen I've seen crazier patterns from even weirder bosses before. So, uh, 
yeah, like I said before, not every boss has to be super unique, and I do like and I do appreciate that there are bland ones amongst the mix. So uh, let's see here. Yeah, the poison is doing a lot to him. I wonder how far these bounce. Can they even reach us from over here? I'm going to uh, drag these guys over here just in case. Uh, oh my goodness. Oh wow, they actually. Uh, oh wait a second. It appears he has infinite range as well, so he's actually uh, firing them at quite an erratic pace. Actually, uh, let's see. This guy can still take out a bunch of a uh, or can still tank a bunch of health. Let's drag this guy over here actually. So balls go in this direction. So uh. Oh man, you know what these remind me of? They remind me of the Super Ball from uh, Powder Toy, which is another damn ball game, actually. All right, here we go. What's this? The Freeze EXP staff? What is that supposed to be stripped for? Expert staff, maybe? That's interesting. Does it naturally give you, like, more experience? I don't know. That might be something to check out later. <gasps> oh, what's this? Hell. Guys, we've reached hell. Oh my goodness. I'm probably not going to go to that uh, as soon as possible, though. Oh my goodness. I, ca I can't believe we actually got there. I am super excited to try those levels at some point. However, I do want to, um, let's see. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to go back real quick, and I'm actually going to uh, to purchase the, um, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and purchase the, uh, uh, it's kind of, kind of like a, I'm going to purchase the, uh, yeah, the ruby and the garnet for these. Um, it's not the level four and level five ones. I'll probably try to get those later, or I guess all level four in this case. But uh, this, this is, it is like a direct upgrade and it appears to do more damage as well. So yeah, that seems to work out. So we'll hold on to that for now. Um, and I say we go to the beach now because, uh, yeah, I want to save this for, for later because that level just looks really interesting. Now, that's super ominous right there. All right, so let's go to beach four. Now, what is what are these heads? I don't think I've ever seen these things. Um, I can't tell. <laughs> <coughs> I can't tell what they're, pardon, I can't tell what their attacks are, per se, but that, whoa, 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 what is that? What, those guys are shooting, like, flat hoops at us, what is this about, Ooh, what's this? The poison flail, that's interesting, I'm gonna have to try that out later, but, uh, oh my goodness, we have, like, these jumping sea, sea serpents right here, they, they, like, fling actual hoops at you. That is interesting, and they see, oh, they do damage on contact, too, and it has that erratic, uh, yeah, damage that, uh, the other kind of, uh, the other kind of, a uh, yeah, the other kind of, a uh, lightning attacks, too, so I can't really tell exactly how much damage they did. I think I saw a couple do 70 damage, though, which is pretty, it is kind of significant, I mean, it can, like, uh, at this point, 7 damage can kill most of our, ra or 70 damage can kill most of our rangers in roughly, like, seven to ten hits, which is, it's still kind of crazy, I mean, actually, now that I look at this, oh my goodness, our, our lowest health guys have, like, 500 health right now, kind of crazy how far we've grown, like, didn't we have a, only 100 to start with, oh wow, I re I'm really liking these enemies, that just looks really neat, like, it looks like something I'd make up or something, all right, let's, uh, drag these guys over here, what are these heads, they look a little bit like bowling balls or, like, masks or something, um, it appears they also drop, a uh, fire, that's the only thing I can imagine doing that much damage, uh, let's see here, do they drop fire, no, they just fire a load of bullets at you. Um, okay, have we killed any? Because, uh, oh man, I really want to grab that Nigeria Rice Ball. Okay, have we killed any quite yet? Okay, game, come on now. Uh, just drop a flat... Oh, okay, we actually died to them. Did I kill any there? I, 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 I Okay, I'm going to make an executive decision and say that I did. So, uh, let's see here. Let's sell this. Uh, let's see. I'd love to use this a bit more, but we do already have a poison weapon and a pretty good one at that. So, I say... Uh, we just skipped to the boss, assuming there are no more new enemies on that level. Uh, so let's see here. The, okay, this level is interesting. It started out kind of kind of bland, but like, whoa, okay. Oh my goodness, what do you do? Uh, I really got to find out. Um, oh, wait a second. I should equip this or this area because, uh, oh wow, they fire um, they fire like stars at you and they do 30 damage each. Okay, that's not too bad, all things considered. Uh, let's drag you over here because I feel you'll be better for... Uh, for for these uh for this uh, certain particular group of enemies uh oh wow okay I can see how this will be a problem uh that he's dropping he's dropping a lot of those actually oh if I can keep him close to the ground or if he were to swim to the ground like that I could potentially uh just drop a bunch of uh oh wait a second does he resist fire it appears he does okay then maybe this might be a better choice um please don't resist this too some some bosses some bosses resist multiple elements and this appears to be one of them okay this is gonna be tedious then maybe it only takes damage from like ice or something because the golden rule of resistances in this game oh wow that managed to hit him anyway uh the golden rule of resistances in this game is that if something um yeah something will either resist or be weak to the color of that the thing actually is so these things might just might only take a take a good damage from uh yeah from uh from electricity uh, if that is the case, then unfortunately we might have a case of a uh, of um let's see here of like m of like mountain itis. And if that is the case, then this is probably going to be a long episode just because these bosses tend to be kind of dumb. Okay, I kind of want to revive um our 
our gladiator friend right here and see if he can actually deal some some more significant damage. Yeah, there we go. All right. Oh, he knows. Oh, he knows he's weak to this. He's running away. Okay. Yeah, there we go. All right. This seems to be working out quite nicely. Uh, let's see. Doing a lot more damage than I would otherwise. Um, at the very least, actually, he's not freezing those guys or slowing them down at the very least. You know what? I think I poison this guy too. What I could try doing is I could try, um, oh, okay, that's an issue. What I could try doing is I could try, um, doing this with the priest. I think I will actually. He appears to be a better choice for this because, uh, yeah, he can actually just flat poison these guys and I'll most definitely do a lot more damage than, like, one each. Yeah, this seems to be working out quite nicely. I'll keep him alive, though, just because I kind of like um, I kind of like the gradual damage on him. Though, if I do have to sacrifice one of them, the Magician will be the first to go, because honestly, just look at this. Uh, I was checking there to make sure they're both on on. Yeah, okay, there we go. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, this seems to be working out quite nicely. Uh, this guy has a lot of health, though, so this still might take a lot of time, all things considered. This is an interesting fight. So, like, each of those stars do, like, 60 damage each. So as long as I can stay above him, this uh this boss is actually no threat whatsoever, but he seems to be pretty intelligent right now, just sticking up there. I don't know what he's doing though, or what he what he's hoping to accomplish, just standing right there. Uh okay, don't get too close. Um, let's see here. I mean I, the, the Rangers, they kinda need your help to walk around, basically, because otherwise they'll just like fly right into this kind of thing. Okay, there we go. Chris Angan, their AI does seem to be. Their, their AI is set, and that is definitely a charm of the game. I just wish they were a little bit smarter, though. Like, would you walk into this? If you were playing this, or if you were, like, literally here, would you swim into that? No, I don't I don't think I would. And these rangers, they, they would swim into that if, like, this, uh, he were just jolt this way all of a sudden. Okay, uh, I'm actually kind of happy if you're on the ground right there. Ooh, what's his, uh, what's his damage like? Oh, like, I didn't look at that like it actually matters. Um, let's see here. The priest doesn't appear to actually be doing... Any literal damage, but the poison, like, the poison is the is the MVP of this match right here. If, if it weren't for this guy right here. Like, okay, I, I keep saying before that I really hate enemies that have a bunch of resistances, and this is why, because their bosses take way too long. If they were to be weak to, like, poison or something, I think all that would be considered. Because this poison is always a really good go-to element. Because, uh, because you, you never think to, like, make something poison-proof unless you make it, like, made out of metal or something or a robot, which... I, which I would imagine would be a factor in this game, but uh, let's see. Definitely not not one that takes priority. Uh, let's see. This guy is actually taking a lot of damage from our poison right now. It's the only thing he's taking damage from. Or maybe at the very least, like, maybe he could be slowed down. I mean, he's not being slowed down at all because he resists ice, but, like, maybe if he were to be poisoned or something. I mean, what? okay, what natural color is this thing? I gotta check real quick. He is naturally... He's naturally white. Okay, so maybe maybe that's why. Maybe that's why. Because, like I said before, the general rule of this game is if something resists some elements, it's either going to be, or if something resists or is weak to some elements, it's most likely either going to be um, weak to the, yeah, weak, weak to the uh, color that he actually is, or strong to the color he actually is. In this case, he's strong to ice, which means that he might actually take a more. Actually, no, we tried fire on him before. Heck, you know, I, I okay, this is a weird enemy in general. It's like he specifically takes more damage from lightning. And poison. Like, I cannot wait to see what the book looks like on this level, because this is actually going to be pretty interesting. I mean, we did see some very neat enemies, like those, those like, guys with bowling ball faces. <clears throat> I know they're supposed to be masks, they just look like... <clears throat> oh my goodness, I'm going to take a drink of water real quick. Um... Yeah, but whenever I, whenever I see, like, a Shy Guy style, like, two little dots in a mouth, that always comes to mind for whatever reason. Uh, I say that even though I do just kind of like the shy guys. They're pretty neat enemies. All right, so we're taking a... Let's see. This guy is roughly down to a fifth of his health. Why are you jolting around, buddy? You know you're going to die pretty soon. And I'm not swimming into that. I'm not going to let them swim into that. Heck, I'll turn them on off if I need to. I really just need to take care of you as soon as possible. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, keep in mind, each individual one of these stars... You know, I really like the, um, the effect of it going away after a while, too. Like, you can really... Oh man, like you can really see like where he stops, like where he jolts around really quickly, because it's uh it's where these like uh these like uh, rest for a while. Like this little clump right here, that's uh that's what that's a moment where he actually just stayed in place for quite some time. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're still doing we're still doing gradual damage to him. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we're still doing very gradual damage. I'm really liking the kind of damage we're doing as well. This seems to be going around pretty quickly. Uh, let's see here. Um, let's see. Uh, really don't know what to say here. Um. Other than just, well, we're, we're doing pretty good damage to him right now. I mean, I really like poison. Like, honestly, poison as the idea of an element, even as, like, this is more like a video game thing in general, but the fact that there's a way to, like, deal gradual damage, like, it's kind of win-win in your case. I mean, and I, I really like that idea. Like, honestly, I, like, so many RPGs um, stem from that same mentality about, like, poison being really neat. Okay, there we go. So we actually took him out. We actually got to level up in that case. 
Uh, let's uh, level these fools up real quick, and then let's get out of here. Now, what's after this? After this, we have uh, Forest Three. Interesting. They seem to be jumping around the um, yeah, the uh, yeah, these uh, these levels a lot. Like we have a beach four. We haven't seen a beach over here. Uh, yeah, we, there's a Forest Three, but the like Forest is way over here. Okay, I can see this getting very interesting. I can't wait to see what's here. And I'm gonna assume that this is also gonna lead to a path that leads to this tree eventually. Uh, which might be a, like a secret level in itself. So let's go back to the resort. Um, and I think next time, I don't know what I want to do next time. I think next time I'm going to go to the uh, to the forest. Uh, so which means I want to leave hell for as long as possible because that's a really ominous sounding name for a level. I just want to see like th this area has a lot of levels I can imagine. So so uh, yeah, so uh, save the best for last I guess. So I guess next time we'll just go to forest then. So there we go. Thanks for watching.